Hey, lightweights, here's what you can expect from today's episode of L.A. Noir. The other side ready to help him. Christ, what was that? An explosion. Oh my god! <laughs> See? Shady McShady Pants Sr. Nicholson Electroplating. Any news from Jack? There's a statewide APB out on him. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. So how do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathed down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side ready to help him. Christ, what was that? An explosion. Something big. You think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. Right, we need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. All units, 2974. All units, all units, report to an explosion. New location, launcher in location, it's south of Santa Monica, west of, uh, Stand by Herschel Weather. Ugh, sorry, hold on. <laughs> I don't know what happened, I got a pop-up on my computer and my screen went away. All units, car 88K reports an explosion downtown. Downtown? It can't be. All units, all units, explosion. Location is somewhere in Wilshire. Car 14 Adam reports the address of units. Stand by. Stand by. Okay, where am I going right now? This is not where I'm supposed to be going? <laughs> Okay, what is happening? Calling all cars, calling all cars. Assist the fire department. Explosions at 4672 Oakwood Avenue. 4672 okay. Oakwood Avenue. Multiple citizens injured. I'm like, it looks like there's an explosion here. All units in the vicinity respond code 3 and identify. You heard the man. Damn. We have looters around the corner. Cuff them or put them down. We need to get this area under control. You don't shoot at cops, you little prick. Get that bastard, Paul. <laughs> I fucking oh, love Herschel. looking for a profit, asshole. Time to reload. I'm not shooting his arm. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I should be shooting his arm. The commander will want us at the scene. Let's go. I also. Jesus. I never see nothing like this. I wish I could say the same. It's like a bomb's gone off. Jesus Christ. Poor people. We gotta find out what went down. I love how Herschel is backing us up on this whole Legion Fields thing. And he's like totally on our side and totally ready to take down everybody who's corrupt. I freaking love that so much. Am I gonna have to find clues here? Cause this is a big freaking area. God. 
You're late, Phelps. Get delayed somewhere? Um, I was shooting looters. What, what do you want? What in God's name happened here? It wasn't nuclear. If it was, we'd all be dead from the radiation. That's reassuring. What's radiation? Everyone inside the factory was vaporized. I mean, look at the size of that crater. What's going on over there? The mayor is going on television, appealing for calm. Television? We can afford one of those things. Anything to go on? You're looking at the remains of Nicholson electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion, but I'm only guessing. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with anything. Oh, shit. Worlds turn upside down. Okay, so we need to go about this in like a... Then it's time for us to do our jobs. Grid pattern? I don't know why you need to yell at Herschel right now, Phelps. Like, for real. Let's, we're gonna start on the right and work our way down. Oh. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Vaporized. Oh, brother. Okay, I can't walk up there, so that makes that easy. Normally I look for the evidence tags, but there's not gonna be evidence tags. Ooh, would they hide something in this corner? No, okay. That's a sink, that's probably not anything. You're looking at something, what are you looking at? You're looking at nothing. <laughs> Okay, what are you looking at? Doesn't tell me anything. Ah! <laughs> what are you looking at? You're looking at dirt. Okay. I knew this was going to be a bitch. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh, this is even bigger than I thought. To the right, to the right. This is nothing. Circumstantial. Not much help. Damn it. We have it above. <gasps> oh, God. I thought four fix was a tough break. Hey, detective! I think I got something here. Okay. Any idea what this is? A very large egg cup? A Viking helmet? How would I know, Phelps? Okay, so those are yeah. letters. P and W wasp. Looks to me like some kind of machine component. An airplane part, maybe. The nose knows. A prop spinner. All right. Why is that important? <laughs> it doesn't appear to be connected. I don't know. Gotta try. This boot's gonna ding ding and it's gonna be nothing. <laughs> Although, how it didn't get vaporized. Oh, I guess there was a body back there that wasn't vaporized. We're outside of the vaporization zone. What are you looking at? Okay, so the right was a good way to go. What is this? Not sure this means much. What? What is it? A compact? <gasps> Phelps, I think I found something over here. Beheaded. Oh, 
Looks like all that's left. I can try the laundry tag. What will that tell us other than like a victim? Detective, you seen this yet? Come take a look. The game is taking pity on me. <laughs> Blew the locker open, but shielded the contents. Let's see what we got in here. Oh my god. What is this, a spy camera? It is oh, a spy camera! Only OSS agents use these things. We'll need to get the film developed to see if there's an espionage angle. Tamako Akamato, Japanese name. Okay, what's this thing? What's this yellow thingy? Eh, no! That! <laughs> Any ideas, Herschel? None that I care to utter for public consumption. It looks like a little bobber or something. What is it? A substitution cipher. H equals the Germans K? Germans used them in the war. These are cipher rings. You know what to do with them? No. Maybe. I used them in OCS. Okay, so I'm assuming the inside ring this is going to be K. The, the rest of the message should align itself. Okay, so put this on K. And then put this on... Wait, what? So I need to just move the K to the H? Wait, no, no, what is happening? Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> okay, right? Now move this whole thing to, okay, we're going this way. <laughs> there? Rotate the outer wheel to the first letter of the cipher. I did that. I didn't do that. Two hours later. Why do I now have a letter N on my screen? Approximately 10 hours later. I think I just figured it out. So every, I have to change this letter to the correct one, so I just did O. So now I need to change this to J, and then... Oh, shit, why is that just working now? Vermont? Okay. I swear to God I did this already, and it wasn't working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I swear to God I did this! <laughs> an address. 133 North Vermont Avenue. Uh, oh my god, there's still more. Oh, there's not more, thank god. Okay. Let's look at the clues. <laughs> no sense in being dumb unless you show it, right? So we got an airplane part, a conical machine component marked P and W Wasp Major R 4360. That means nothing to me. We have a laundry tag for superior laundry services. We have a spy camera. We have proof of espionage. Oh, we have a suggestion of possible espionage. <laughs> and we have a message taking us somewhere. Okay. North Vermont or something. Ooh, just an arm. So now I need a phone. I saw the phone on the minimap back there, but I don't think I can get there. That's it, Mr. Mayor. We're wrapped. Well, good. Thank you very much, son. It 
I think it went okay. A couple of hiccups, sir, but that's to be expected. Nobody's ever done this before. We'll get better with practice. That maybe goes for me too, son. Should have played it a little more somber. What do you think, son? Uh, no, Mr. Mayor. You came across as, um, very resolute. Who are you? Why are you just standing there looking at us? I'm Fred Nicholson. Oh. This is your place? What's left of it? 32 years of work up in smoke. Yeah, that really sucks. Nicholas Plant Explosion. He's the owner and proprietor of Nicholson Electroplating. Can you tell us what happened here? Our, uh... Chief Chemist Harold McClellan was using this area to test the, the new process. And what exactly is this new process? Uh, that's uh, classified information, son. I just feel like he's telling me a partial truth, but not the whole truth. What exactly is this new process that's classified information? It might be classified, but there's something else you can tell me. Uh, can you tell us what happened here? Our chief chemist, Harold, I don't know. I just don't like it. Bad cop. A lot of people died here, Mr. Nicholson. I'm prepared to go to the press and tell them it was your fault. What is the new process? A way to chemically polish aluminum. It's traditionally done by hand. It's extremely labor intensive. The process could be worth millions. Why was that classified? Because of money? Classified by you, not classified by the government? Okay. Who is Tomiko Akamato? Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. Oh my God, sorry. She came highly recommended. You are being sketchy as hell, sir. Sketchy. I swear to God, I don't know if it's like a nervous tick. My face never itches unless I'm recording. I don't, it, I don't, I don't know if it's because my hair is in my face and I normally have my hair up when I'm not recording or if it's just nerves or what. And I keep smacking the damn microphone. I am in a mood today. Ooh, it's going to be a good one. Anyways. What were we talking about? <laughs> Who's Tomoko? Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. She came highly recommended. And then he was clearly giving me lie eyes. So I'm going to do the accused trick because I feel like potentially that espionage stuff because her business card was in there. But I don't know. Akamato was involved in industrial espionage. Was she working for you or for a foreign government? That's a ridiculous assertion. How can you possibly say she was a spy? Okay, see? This is why I love that frickin' tip. It's just the best. I can say she was a spy because of... Uh... Wait, okay, wait, which one? <laughs> Not the address. How many of your other employees carry spy cameras in their handbags? Would the spy camera have worked too? Jesus, Mary and Joseph, she was selling me out. If she wasn't a foreign spy, who could she have been working for? It could be other plating companies. But the big customers for the process are the aircraft manufacturers. Lockheed, Boeing, Hughes, North American. What can you tell us about McClellan? A brilliant chemist. He approached me a few months ago with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but it's legitimate research. I just, again, 
I fucking, I don't know. This guy's giving me like used car salesman vibes. I don't know. Like every time we talk to a car salesman in this game, it's never a good cop. It's always bad cop. <laughs> so no one has ever done this before. No, but it's legitimate research. Okay. What can you tell me about McClellan? You can tell me more than, than that. You didn't tell me everything you know. And you're not making eye contact. And you're shifting your feet. We're going bad cop. So you thought McClellan could do what no one else could do. You were prepared to take that risk. Look, he is a... was a trained chemist. And his ideas could revolutionize electroplating. Mm. And you would be rich. I'm a businessman. What's wrong with turning a buck? You blew up six blocks! And God knows how many people are dead. I regret that. That's laudable. <laughs> we'll be in touch, Mr. Nicholson. Can you send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamato's personnel files? I will if I can find them. By the way, we also found the collar of a shirt. It has a laundry tag. They're likely to be Dr. McClellan. And the majority of people who worked here don't use a laundry service. Why would just that scrap of his shirt survive? Was it in a locker? Like, it seems... His whole body's gone! <laughs> but the collar of the shirt survived! Okay, but I think I needed a phone. Because when I was back that way, there was, um... Okay, so that's why I need to know where this place is. So I really need to find a phone somewhere. I think there was one this way. Because I could see it on my mini-map when I was in that little path. Can I call in from cop cars? I ask now that I'm almost done with the game. creepily quiet. I don't like it. I understand why it's creepily quiet. I'm just saying. Detective Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Can you speak to someone at the Army Air Force Base for me, please? Of course, Detective. Tell them I have what I believe is an aircraft part. It's polished metal, light for its size, and it looks like a cone of some sort. It's stamped on the inside. P&W Wasp Major R4360. I'll get back to you, Detective, when you check in for messages. Anything else? I need an address for Superior Laundry Services. Closest store to your location is in Wilshire, 4766 Melrose Avenue. Thanks for your help. Um, can I take a fire truck? Is there something I can do? Fine. But if the skipper sees us driving around this, we're dead. <laughs> okay, we're getting out. I don't actually want to drive it. Or do I? I want you to drive it. <laughs> do it. You know the way. You can drive. <laughs> How are we going to look getting around in this thing, Cole? You think McGlone went up in smoke? Or she's still alive. Look how the dairy. You could ask the same question uh. about Tomiko Akamoto. I guess you could. You got an answer? Not yet. But I'm working on it. Oh, I forgot my drink downstairs and I'm very thirsty. I'm parched. What you doing, lady? I think he's a bit of a gangster, but he treats me nice. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> what do you need? Hey, wait. Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. 
Are you for serious right now? Anyways, we've used superior laundry a couple times to help us in our cases. <laughs> Number was uh, J2620, Cole. J2620. Nope, turn the page. I can't turn the page. I can't turn the page. Okay. J. Two six two zero. I just can't read anymore, apparently. <laughs> As was evident by last video and right now. Who is Hangstrom? Could be someone else from the factory. Does he have an address? No. No. Dead end. <sighs> Thank you for all your help, sir. Okay, he deserved that sass. Lady, why are you staring at us? Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address for an Oscar Hangstrom. Checking. No residential listing for anyone by that name, detective. Sorry. Thank you. I feel like in the DLC missions, they couldn't get the original phone lady voice. Because when it actually is a new line, it's not the same lady. So we got nothing? That's a, a total dead end? Jeez, You're behind the wheel. What's wrong with a good old fashioned black and white? I like to make a statement. I was very concerned with what he just read in the paper. <laughs> Can't stop yawning. Apartment one. Why was her? Well, well. Why the cloak and dagger routine, Miss Akamato? My thoughts exactly. Why is your frickin' address ciphered? Uh, where's number one? This one's open, so I'm gonna assume it's this one. <laughs> oh shit. So I turned the place over. Oops. Better watch your Why step. am I stuck? Oh my god! Do you think I could fit in there? <laughs> I couldn't fit in there. I'd like to think you would have had something more to say about getting shoved in a fridge, Herschel. I was struck by blood on the ground. Next thing I know, body's falling at me. One to the head, one to the heart. Point blank. So. This is a stretch, but here's my working theory right now. This apartment was actually this guy's. And Okamoto, you know who I'm talking about, espionage chick, took the apartment, which is why it was ciphered because her contact or whatever was like, got you covered, here's an apartment. That's why the little tag on the mailbox looked different than the other tags, which I, my brain noticed, but I didn't say. This is the dude at the laundromat, his shirt. That's why he didn't pick it up. But I don't know why he wouldn't have a residential address, so that part doesn't really fit. But you know, working theory. <laughs> we'll see how wrong I am in the moment. Could be a class ring. Why are class rings always so god-awful gaudy? They're always like so just... Um, school pride, but ugh, come on. So... On Jeans Lindbergh. Very expensive watch. Favored by Flyboys. I always wanted one as a kid. Flyboys meaning That's pilots? Funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. Mm. 
Okay, I think that's everything. So that seems to be where he was shot and then dragged to the fridge. This fire's cranking! Look at that heat! Oh, that's gonna be hot, careful. Uh-oh. You know what this is, Biggs? Sure. The department gives you one of those when you retire. <laughs> Thanks for risking your life every day. Here's a tie clip. <laughs> I see you shining. What is this? Earrings? Looks like we have a match. What? Interesting dame, this Akamoto. Microfilm? What is it exactly? Microfilm? A document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail. Rod must have amazing eyesight. Or a magnifying glass. <laughs> Shouldn't we keep it? Isn't this something we should keep on our person? Biggs. Edge 525. I'll need a couple of black and whites at 133 North Vermont Avenue, Wilshire. We'll need an ambulance in the corner. And probably a team from technical services as well. Operator, give me dispatch. Oops, sorry. I know some of you don't like that. Putting you My through bad. now. Detective Phelps, batch 1247, messages please. You need to call Ray Pinker urgently. Can you put me through? It's ringing now. See, different We're on lady. Our way in. Nix that. I got a message from Lindbergh Field. An airplane tech there identified your part. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner from either a Corsair or a B-50. A what? Fits over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. You gotta speak English, dude. So it's a military part. Could be, but get this. The Spruce Goose runs eight Wasp R4360s. I think you better get over there and check it out. We're on it. What's a Spruce Goose? <laughs> These past several cases, I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. Oh, listen. Listen, listen, listen. Let's take a different car. I'm over it. <laughs> we'll leave it for them when they come back to investigate. Let's go. I like this one with the red roof. Oh, wait, I don't want to drive. <laughs> Please. Please! Can you drive to this one? Gonna deny you your fun. You do you, sir. This is a military project, gentlemen. Can you state your business? Detectives, Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We're investigating the explosion. We have reason to believe there may be a link to Hughes aircraft. I'm sorry, I can't help you there, detective. Without authorization from Military HQ, you won't be allowed onto this facility. What seems to be the problem, gentlemen? Hey, Biggs. You're not still with the LAPD. Right so, mates. Can you help us out here? Sure. What seems to be the problem? We're working the big explosion at the electroplating plant. We found a part there that belongs to one of your planes. I work head of security for Mr. Hughes now. I'll take full responsibility. I'm sure we can clear this up. Follow me. It's the big hanger. You can't miss it. 
Oh, trust me, I'm sure I can. Who is Mapes? And what's his connection to Howard Hughes? Vernon Mapes used to work advice. Word is he runs fuckpads for Hughes' starlets. A pimp. Earl and Mapes would seem. Mapes was the role model for creeps like Earl. Good to know who I'm dealing with here. Follow me. Good day, miss. <clears throat> I said good day. Oh, oops. Walked right into him. Can that thing really fly? Mr. Hughes believes so. Amazing, isn't she? So, this is the spruce girl. Jesus Christ, Biggs. You want to get me fired? Mr. Hughes hates that fucking name. It's the H4 Hercules to you. You mind answering a few questions, Mr. Mapes? Call me Vernon, kid. Fire away. Okay, so we know he is the influence to Ray. Ray? Fuck. What was that his name? Pfft. You know who I'm talking about. Shady McShady Pants. So we know he's going to be Shady McShady Pants Sr. We got to keep that in mind. Okay. Nicholson plant explosion. Do you know anything about the explosion that happened at Nicholson Electroplating this morning? No more than anyone else. Heard the boom while I was shaving. Almost shit my pants. Thought it was Pearl all over again. <laughs> See? Shady McShady Pants Senior. Um, I don't think we really have, like, something to accuse him of a lie with. But it's definitely not a good cop moment. But you had no personal contact with any of the employees. And you have no idea what caused the explosion. Why are we yelling? I'm in security. I handle Mr. Hughes's personal interests, if you get my meaning. I'm not directly involved in manufacturing. I don't like him. Sleaze ball. Knowledge of... I can never say this name right. Do you know Tomiko Akamato? Akamato. Never heard of the broad. I feel like that's not how you actually Why? say it. <laughs> Way to be subtle, dude. Um, so again, I don't think we necessarily have anything to accuse him of a lie there. I don't think we have a connection between them yet. Never heard of the broad. Why? Um, let's just make sure here. Suggest possible espionage, but doesn't connect that. Addressed, but again, doesn't connect it. We don't even know what that says. I think I gotta go bad cop again. You don't happen to wear an LAPD tie pin, do you, Mapes? Sometimes. I have a couple of them from my days on the force. Wasn't the dead guy's tie pin? Wait. <laughs> Do you know the chief chemist at Nicholson Electroplating, a Harold McClellan? I've heard of the guy. He was pitching some fancy process to the company. <sighs> so we have the engine prop spinner. That could possibly connect it. We just talked about the tie pin. I feel like it could be this too, but I don't know what it says, so I don't want to click on this. But I also feel like we need to connect. Okay, 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 rewind. Do you know chief chemist, the chief chemist at Nicholson Electroplating, a Harold McClellan? I've heard of the guy. He was pitching some fancy process to the company. So he's not denying that he's heard of him. Oh, see, this is where it gets tricky. He's not denying that he's heard of him, but there's clearly a connection there because we have this prop spinner. But 
Is that enough of a connection to accuse him of... Fuck it. Okay. We know that you were sending parts to Nicholson for testing. Question is whether you were going through Nicholson or cutting your own deal with McClellan. Interesting theory, kid. How are you going to prove any of that? I don't know. I guess we're going to prove it with the prop spinner, but I'm not quite sure how that actually proves anything other than what he's already told us. We found a prop spinner in the wreckage. <laughs> we believe it belongs to this aircraft. We sent them some aluminum parts to test. Howard and the Boffins were interested in this guy McClellan's theories. McClellan was cutting out Nicholson. That's not our problem. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mapes. Do you mind if we have a look around while we're here? Sure. Knock yourself out. You want to take a look inside her? Can't hurt. I still don't really know. Okay, I'm just... I'm glad I had an intuition point there, because I don't freaking know. I felt like he was telling us what we needed to know, so my instinct was saying, bad cop, but I just... He just... Uh, okay. I could have just done the accused trick, I suppose, instead of wasting an intuition point, but I was really having... I had no idea where I was going with that one, so... Well, oops. Cullen's process was going to replace all this. Definitely thought I'd be able to look at that. Okay, we're gonna go up the shiny light ladder. Great. You don't need to climb up if you don't want to, it's okay. Latitude 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. Longitude 76 degrees, zero minutes west. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh-oh. No. 76 degrees west. 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. 76 degrees west? Wait, say that again? 76 degrees west. Okay. 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. 24 degrees. Seventy-six degrees. Oh, I was looking at the seventy-six on the actual map, not the seventy-six on the. Degrees, fifteen Oops, fuck. North. Seventy. <laughs> Beep. Seventy-six degrees west. Twenty-four degrees, fifteen minutes north. Let's see where this is exactly. The Bahamas. Somebody's already got their maiden flight planned. I'm really struggling to see why all this is important for this mission. <laughs> I'm hoping at the end it's all cleared up, but at this moment I'm like, what the, why do I care about this right now? Like, why am I, I know we need to investigate this because there is a freaking plane part at the explosion, but like, why? Why is there a bigger connection here? Do we think these guys are responsible for blowing those guys up? All right. Wait. Hughes. Looks like Mabe's office is in the far corner. Let's go see what he's hiding. The far corner. Like this way? Like up here? I see a, a gold door. 
Okay, this could be promising. Glad he said that, because I had no idea where I was about to go. <laughs> I was about to go to the light way of the opposite side. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they are, so you've got to look anyways. I don't think it so. all ties back to the blue room. It's always, always the blue room. Apparently that's the only place to go in this town. That is Marie the Body McDonald. Does Hughes have her on contract to RKO? Yeah, I bet he does. Did you throw anything in the trash? Nothing's ding dinging. Should I look? <clears throat> There's something lit up over here. I feel like I need to go look at that. Is that a Pratt and Whitney 4360? Always follow the sure light. There is. You know your motors. Do you mind if I take a look at the prop spinner? We're getting her ready for sea trials, so be quick about it. Taking it off, he literally just put it on. What the fuck? What is the oily covering on the metal? Uh, we coat the aluminum parts in linseed oil to preserve it from oxidization. Let's see what Pinker has for us. He's probably done tinkering with that camera by now. Okay. Unknown address. There was? What? <laughs> Bye, Creepo. Thanks for the tour, Mapes. Always happy to help the department. Hey, don't I know your face from the papers? You're the cop that's stripping that German broad. Nah, I think you got the wrong guy, Vernon. <laughs> okay, he's my new favorite partner. <sighs> oh, wait, shit. I ran into that box and said, oh, Hughes. Thinking Hughes was the electroplating company. <laughs> oh, I'm stealing your car. Haha, <laughs> bitch. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. How are we gonna look getting around in this thing? We're gonna oh. look smooth as hell. So McClellan was selling his new process to Hughes and cutting out Nicholson. Looks that way. But this would never go all the way up to Hughes. So we'd have middlemen deal with stuff like this. Someone like Mapes? The word middleman was invented for guys like Mapes. To go downstairs, right? Hey, 
Any messages for me, Hopkins? Not many you'd want to hear. Newspapers wanting interviews and rookies cussing you out, mostly. <laughs> Nothing else. Pinker wants you in tech services. Maybe you'll be more popular downstairs. <sighs> My stomach says, okay, douche canoe. I want to make homicide. Hey, Cole. You're not winning any popularity contests upstairs, you know. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, Where do you stand? I, I think you're a good I cop, but I try and stay out of politics. Everybody tries to stay out of politics, Ray. <laughs> well, don't quote me on it, but I'm hoping that Parker will get the job and clean this place up. I have your photographs. You can use the magnifier. There's quite a lot of detail. Very funny. <laughs> I think you're right, right? We have our man. You take a nice photo, Phelps. He didn't realize it was us at first. Use right to zoom in and out. That's our guy. Bringing the watch or a match for our John Doe. He's obviously the competitive bid. Can you get this over to Lockheed so we can get a name for this guy? It's already on its way. Okay, cool. Oh. Howard Hughes, millionaire, industrialist, aviator, and playboy, and Vernon Mapes, ex-dirty cop and business fixer. I found a similar tie pin along with a dead guy in a fridge. So he killed the competitor and shoved him in the fridge? Excellent photography, Tomiko. So if Tomiko had the goods on McClellan, too bad they blew the place to hell. Is this McClellan? Can anyone make out the street number behind him? Are you kidding? With my eyesight? <laughs> West something. Three nine four one, but three nine four one what? Cole, can you help me with a little experiment? Use the eyedropper in front of you. One drop from each of the bottles on the desk. Place the drops in the Petri dish. Why? Oh, I don't like that smile. I don't like that smile. We're about to freaking... Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put them down one round. Then we're about to catch on fire. Oh, that was linseed oil. It's okay, guys. Just a little experiment. Can you guys knock it off? Everyone's still jumping from that bang this morning. Very funny, Ray. You just took a couple years off my life expectancy. <laughs> Did the same trick to me about an hour ago. So that was the stuff that caused the explosion? I think so. Acetic anhydride is almost as explosive as nitro. And when mixed with perchloric acid, it's very unstable. It needs to be cooled constantly. We used linseed oil. But you could add any organic compound to trigger an explosion. Three little drops. Yeah. And they were using a hundred gallon vat. So what's that gonna do to the plane that has linseed oil all coated in it? That seems like it's gonna be horrible. I was like, whoa, what are we doing? Can't forget our hat. I was walking down the street and that heel sent me flying. Okay. Get this morning's edition hot off the press.
You can drive. Sorry, I muted it while I was quiet because my stomach was going crazy. That's not a good sign. This is so cute though. Although this table looks like a freaking desk. This place stinks of petroleum. Yeah, someone definitely dumped gas cans in here. I have gas, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> it's all around the floor. Why? What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I didn't eat breakfast. That's my fault this time. Uh-oh. Footsteps. Okay, we'll go over there in a second. Hangstrom is flying today on TWA. Hangstrom is dead, Cole. Why leave your ticket behind? Nix is cleaning up. Oscar Hangthorn? Hangstrom. <laughs> What did I miss? I clearly missed something. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hangstrom and McClellan are the same man. The gas, Cole, the gas! We gotta get out of here right now! Oh my god! Ah! Look, by the stove! Shoot the gas line, Cole! We're out of here! Oh my god, I'm gonna catch myself on fire. Jesus! Fuck. There you are, shit heel. Come on, he's not getting away from us. I mean, he might. Oh shit, where'd he go? Fuck! Okay, that kind of worked out. I feel like that bath was easier than the one he took. Besides smashing into everybody. I can't get a target that isn't there, fellas! Yeah, I'm trying. Dude! Why would you back up? What? He was asking to be hit! Both of those guys! Excuse me. Where are you going? I thought he was going to turn there. Ah! Shit. You security men, Cole. Oh. Stay on mates. Knock them off the road if you have to, but stay on that fucker. Oh my god, he didn't even try to swerve. <laughs> that was great. Don't leave me hanging out here, Phelps. Move in. <laughs> Okay, 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 great. That 
that was just my best work. Get out of the flipping way! We're gonna have to go through all the security men first. I hope you're ready for a fight. Bye bye me. <gasps> My hat. Oh, nice. Oh my God, the son of a bitch is lit. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. Stay down. Nice. As soon as he pokes his head out, we'll step on him. You're covered. What if I shoot your foot? Shit, this is a bad place to be. This is a bad place to be. but no more cops are showing up. <laughs> Where is our backup? Kick it! Find some cover! Don't know how I just got him, but I will not complain about it. I'm ah! Oh, there he is. I was like, I see a dot, but I don't know. <laughs> is he still alive? Oh my god, he's still alive. Oops. The auto lock is failing me. Dude, I can't get this guy. Stay down. Real clever, asshole. I'm gonna find you. I'm not hitting him. Why am I even trying? I don't know. Stay in right. cover. That hurts, right? That it does. He's too far away from my bullets! I just want to get this guy. Okay, finally. <laughs> Shit! I'm covering you! Okay, thanks. This is worse than a war zone. Did I get him? Cover me! Ah! Oh no! <laughs> I love how it ends like that every time.
You're going to have to explain this to me again. Yeah, me too, please. <laughs> so the guy at the chemical plant, he's planning on selling his magic formula to another company and skipping town with his assistant, but he blows himself up before he can manage it. So why the dead body in the refrigerator? Mapes, Captain. He was eliminating all competitors for the process. When it went bang, he burnt down the apartment to remove all connection between Hughes and the plant. Mapes, right. I remember Vernon Mapes. The guy had good, honest cops hanging their heads in shame. Glad he's finally out of commission. I don't know if it'll do you any good, Phelps. But between the spruce goose and half the city exploding, you might just have made the case of the decade. Did I needed? Did I needed to follow the footsteps first? You know, with the gasoline. I thought it would end there. Oh, far quads. Are you kidding me? I was so like, boom! I'm killing this mission. I had no idea what the fuck was going on half the time, but I was doing it well. <laughs> but apparently not. Shit. Oh man. Oh man! I don't think there will be a flashback scene because this was. Oh well. Good morning, doctor. And a good morning to you too, Elsa. You look radiant. Thank you, doctor. We haven't been seeing much of you lately, Elsa. You've been missing appointments. I'm sorry, doctor. I've been feeling much better. That's very good to hear. And what has brought about this improvement? It's the new man in my life. He's convinced me to fight. My ah, the policeman from the newspapers. How has he coped with his fall from grace? He can finally see things from a human perspective, rather than the ivory tower he created for himself. It's making him stronger. It's making me stronger helping him. You wouldn't make a bad analyst yourself, Elsa. Should we swap seats? <laughs> We're both finding we have a lot to live up to. And what is that? In my case, Lou, he went through hell along with me and still came out smiling. In Cole's case, his friend, Jack Kelso. Kelso? You've heard of him? No, uh, I just like the sound of his name. Oh, shit. Cole and Jack are working on a case together. Oh, Is fuck. Is Jack a policeman, too? No, he works for the district attorney. What? He's a special investigator. I thought you didn't know him. I have never met the gentleman in question. He has been looking into Lou's case. Cole thinks it might be linked to some fire. Oh, she's fucked, guys. <gasps> you look pale, doctor. It's cold in here, Elsa. I think I'll close the window. Why are you looking at me like that, Elsa? You arranged for Lou to work at the Lysian Fields, Doctor. Your fears are unfounded. I meet many people in my line of work. There are many ways that people can be helped. Finding them work is just one of them. I don't believe you, Doctor. I've seen you with Monroe at the club. I'm sorry that you have come to that conclusion, Elsa. I've always so enjoyed our conversation. <sighs> I can see your future, Elsa. And Cole, the policeman. And Jack, the investigator. It's an unfortunate and grisly end. <laughs> I've come to help you, Doctor. To help you cross over. 
all your sins will be forgiven in the next life. Okay, okay, okay. First of all, Elsa, you're Dingleberry. Why? Why? <laughs> when the scene first started, I was like, wait, shit, she doesn't know he's in on it because Jack Kelso is the one who's been doing it, so she doesn't know. But then she's talking, she clearly knows. So why are you there? Why are you there? What do you hope to accomplish by calling him out on that other than freaking get your head bashed in? Oh, lordy. Some of the people in this game are not very intelligent. Okay, so the freaking doctor's dead. Was the guy who killed him the one who was setting the fires for him? I'm pretty sure that's got to all connect somehow because, first of all, we wouldn't be an arson desk if it didn't connect somehow. But second of all, I'm pretty sure that's the guy we saw in the newspaper who called him and was like, you said nobody would be home, like, way back ago. The fuck? But why would he kidnap Elsa? I mean, clearly he's got some mental health problems. So maybe he thinks he's saving Elsa? Is Elsa even alive? I mean, she was just conked on the head. She's probably not dead from that. Right? Shit, is she dead? No. I don't think so. How hard would he have hit her? I mean, you can kill someone by conking them in the head like that, but I feel like one... Unless he hit her in the temple... Fuck, I don't know. Who knows? She could be dead. She could be alive. Either way, Phelps is going to be pissed. Uh, so I'll be curious to see if we play as Phelps in the next mission then, because with the DLC, obviously we were Phelps. But that makes sense because it was the DLC. But do are we going to be Phelps in this last case, or are we still going to be Kelso? Because in the DLC, he said Kelso's on the run. So it makes me think we might be Phelps in the last mission. But I don't really want to stop playing. I have to, because it's already been almost an hour and a half. But I don't want to stop playing. Shit. I can't wait to see how this ends. Um, you know, kind of annoyed at four stars, but whatever. It's fine. I did really freaking well, considering I had no idea what the fuck was going on at the time. <laughs> um, so yeah, four stars ain't bad. I'll end on a five star note. I can feel it. I'll end on a five star note. That's all that matters. Uh, but I had, I had a lot of fun with that mission. Well, mostly because of the ending. <laughs> I really, I was having a really hard time putting those pieces together on my own. But that ending right there, I'm hooked. Hooked! Need to see how this ends. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.